Hey friends. So welcome back to Ace Creates and we're doing something a little bit different today. And I signed up for the Woolberry um, Cabin Retreat, which is kind of like a maker, yarn lover retreat on all different um, things. And so there is a color, um, color theory, color workshop with um, Tony Lipsy from TL Yarn Crafts, which I, I love her. She is amazing. And then um, there was there is a sock technique class with Lindsay Howler, Larks Burnitz, um, and then a dye class, and then a, a whole bunch of other fun activities. So I'm gonna kind of do vlog style and take you along on that journey of the cavern tree, show you a little bit on the goodie box, on what we got, and um, just kind of at the end of the day, give you my thoughts of the whole class. Do I think it was worth it? Um, would I go to it again and go from there? So let's take you along on the journey um, of the Woolberry Fibers Cabin Retreat. So let's go. So this is the goodie box that we got from the Woolberry Fiber um, Company for the Woolberry Fiber Retreat. And so we got a sock set with this kind of um, heathery army green, fatigue green with a light pink and an off white. Um, so a full 100 gram skein and two mini skeins. And then we also got a little notion set with cabin or woodsy themed um, stitch markers. And so there is a little sock, um, a, a tree, like a, like a Christmas tree, um, a little skein of yarn, and then a little cabin. So it was very appropriately themed for the retreat. I've already started using those uh, little stitch markers for my project, so I love them so much. And then we got a canvas tote. smells like Christmas Day pine tree. It is so smelly. It just reminds me of a Christmas tree um, pine themed. And then we also got this cinnamon um, roll um, ham bomb um, and it smells just like a cinnamon roll. So, And then the last thing that we got was the dye kit. Um, which contained everything that we needed to um, dye a skein of yarn. So the skein of yarn is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and is 400 yards and 100 grams. And so it's super soft and squishy. And um, that is what we needed to uh, dye. So then we also got three cups to mix and then a um, reusable zip tie to kind of handle the, to put loop through the skein of yarn. And then we got wool wash to clean the skein once we were done. And then the last thing in the packet was um, the dyes. Um, for the dye making kit. So it had citric acid and four dyes. And it also came with a mask and gloves so that that way we were well protected in our dye making class. So after welcome, the first class of the day was a class by Tony Lipsy of TL Yarncraft. She's probably one of my favorite designers, and so 
it was really fun participating in a class and so she taught a class on color theory and I learned quite a bit from her. Um, I'm a graphic designer, self-taught graphic designer and so I've done a lot of color work in the past just um, in digital means but it was so great to just hear from an expert like her who does quite a bit of color work and puts a lot of thought into color in everything that she does. There was a lot of great tools and suggestions that she provided in the class. I don't necessarily want to repeat because I do want to protect um, you know, the fact that this is her class and she taught it, um, but it was definitely a great class and worth the investment. And so if you ever get the opportunity to take a class from her, I would highly suggest it um, because you can learn so much from her. The second class of the day was a um, sock knitting class. Um, we did a technique on a heel called the shortbread heel from Lindsay Fowler of Larkspur Knit. I'm not a knitter, so I just kind of soaked in all the information. Um, I unfortunately didn't get any clips of the class um, while I was doing it. So this is just, again, clips of um, the class with Tony. But I, it was a really interesting class and technique from the um, how to do the heel, this shortbread heel. She's going to be releasing a, a pattern in the coming weeks, so something to take into consideration and look out in the future. So the last class that we did as part of the workshop was a dye making class, and this is probably one of my favorite classes of the retreat. I'm going to do a full length video on the dye making class and kind of like the step by steps we took not teach you how to dye yarn, but just kind of show you my full length experience. But I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit, a little bit of a teaser as part of the retreat here. Um, I'm not even gonna show you the finished product. You can kind of get a good sense of the, of the finished product. But I really, really, really enjoyed dye making and I can definitely see myself doing more of it in the future. And so here is a little bit more of the dye making class. did an afternoon of knitting all by ourselves um, so I took the time to uh, block two projects at home and do some crocheting and then we finished it off with just uh, kind of like a show-and-tell night on zoom and I got to share um, two of my projects that I'm working on that I will share with you guys in an upcoming video that I haven't shared with you yet and so we just kind of winded down the night had a little bit to drink if you wanted or not and so it was really fun so that is um, everything that happened uh, with the Woolberry fibers cabin retreat and I really enjoyed the day <clears throat> they had a lot of great classes um, with the color class the sock um, heel class and then the dye class um, I'd have to say that the dye class was probably my favorite. I'm um, just learning a new skill. Um, and so I thought that um, the money was worth um, the cost for the, the cabin retreat. And I would totally go again. And um, I hope to go again next year. And maybe it will be in person next year and I can meet some makers and other yarn addicts and um you know just enjoy crafting together and learning together so um definitely something that i'm interested in doing and finding other opportunities like this um just to kind of um, interact with others 
who are crocheting as well. So thanks so much for watching friends and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye now.